So to me, that's why I travel around. That's why I love to come to do these gatherings because I'm having an experience that there are no problems and I'm very happy. That's why I've got a big smile on my face. I laugh a lot, I sing, I do bursts of singing at times. I to go skipping along in nature and everywhere because this experience that there are no problems, that all the problems have already been solved, that Spirit has solved them. And then when we come together, we are joining our minds together to come to that experience together. So if someone believes they have a problem, believes they see a mistake, believes they see an error, then let's look at it together honestly and see if that's really true. I would say honestly that none of us have a problem right now. All problems are either remembered from the past or anticipated. They're either regrets of the coulda, woulda, shoulda. Things could have been different and oh my life would be so great if it's, this had only been different. It's all these regrets or worries and concerns about the future, which is really just the past projected onto the future keeping us from the now. And so when we go much deeper into that, we come deeper into the presence, we come deeper into guidance, we come deeper into our intu intuition and to an experience that there are no problems. It takes a lot of trust and faith to go for that because there's a part in your mind that's convinced there are problems. And our educational systems, and all the, the gyrations that we go through are all based on this belief that there are problems in the world that we have to solve that deny the perceptual problem. Like looking through a cracked lens and not seeing clearly. <laughs>